I wanted to, in fact, uh, remind all of you the resolution 533-1990, which, uh, in fact, considers uh, which considers any attack or threat of attack against nuclear installations or facilities which are under the operation or other construction violation of the United Nations Charter, Statute of IEA, and international law. And it is regretful that the United Nations Security Council has no action on the uh, basis of this resolution. And IEA is also have not done its uh, responsibility inappropriately. Therefore, the shameful silence of United Nations Security Council and Board of Governors regarding this continued threat of attack, which is clear violation of United Nations uh, charter and, of course, the resolution of 533 is a matter of serious concern. Now, with the Iran nuclear standoff, U.S. elections and the Arab Spring, many Palestinians feel their plights being forgotten by the outside world. Paul Brennan reports. Watan TV, one of two Palestinian television stations raided by the Israelis in recent days. It's back on the air now, but only just. The Israeli soldiers stripped out Watan's broadcast equipment, its computers, and even its financial records. The raid caused local outrage, even a mention in the Jerusalem media, but it caused barely a ripple elsewhere. The station boss says that's symptomatic of the wider Palestinian issue. To be honest with you, I think the Palestinian people now very or deeply frustrated from everything. And the Palestinian people very smart, by the way, and they know very well their, the Palestinian cause is not in the international agenda anymore. At the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee, or AIPAC, conference this week, it was Iran, not Palestine, that dominated proceedings. And the U.S. president focused on Israel. Our friendship with Israel is endured. Any lasting peace must acknowledge the fundamental legitimacy of Israel. The United States will insist upon Israel's security and legitimacy. World leaders may be looking elsewhere, but clashes at Israeli checkpoints are on the rise. Palestinian prisoners are on hunger strike in Israeli detention centers. And a growing sense of impotence and frustration is fueling talk of a third intifada or uprising. The PLO executive are finalizing a letter listing all the ways over the last 20 years that they say Israel has blocked peaceful progress. They will deliver it first out of courtesy to the Israeli government and then circulate it to the international community. Israel is attempting to tell people that the Israeli occupation is something that can be managed, is, is legal, is uh, an Israeli concern and nobody else's concern. Unfortunately, the US has played along with that. Palestinians, though, are themselves divided. A reconciliation between the political groups Fatah and Hamas has faltered. Their statehood bid at the UN has also stalled. Their messages are going out, but it appears no one is listening. In the same way that Watan TV is having great difficulty broadcasting its news to the Palestinian people, the Palestinian people are having great difficulty broadcasting their issues to the wider international community. Yes, Iran is a major concern for the whole world at the moment, but the demands of the Palestinian people are not going away. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, in the Occupied West Bank.